And so tonight right now, so many people are wondering if they're going to have a home to come back to. And so many of us right here in the valley know someone impacted by these fires. Absolutely. A lot of folks here from Southern California and Northern California. 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter joins us. And you spoke with locals who are feeling the effects of this fire tonight, Austin. Yeah, Trisha and Todd, we didn't even have to leave our own newsroom to find someone worried about their family in California tonight who can literally see the flames from their backyard. And those fears growing this evening after learning six people now have been killed in the flames. Fast moving wildfire moving through the state of California from north to south, prompting mass evacuations, destroying homes and even claiming lives. Five people so far have been killed by the blaze in Northern California that destroyed parts of the town of Paradise. In hours away in Las Vegas, a city Californians frequent for fun or for a new home, many with ties back to their home state, like our own chief investigator, Darcy Spears. It's hard to kind of get my head around just how close it is and how threatened they are. Darcy's parents live in Calabasas, an area where firefighters have been battling the Volsey wildfire near Los Angeles. Fires just break out randomly and frequently. Uh, sometimes they seem to dissipate and then will break out in the same spot. We spoke to Darcy's dad by phone. They're getting ready to possibly evacuate, watching the fire inch closer and closer to their house. It's uh, slowly snaked its way to closer and closer locations. I think the excitement certainly gives way to, to fear. And that fear for Darcy as well, as her parents experienced random power outages due to the fire, every phone call with them, she describes as scary. It's been, oh, I hear sirens, I've got to go, I'll call you back. Or, oh my gosh, there's a flare up so close to the house, I've got to go. So I'm very nervous. I'm sort of helpless sitting here, only having the phone to connect with them. And I just checked in with Darcy. Her parents have not yet been told to officially evacuate, but we want to show you even more. Check out these pictures right here behind me in the monitor. Sent to us from Melissa Relaford. She lives right here in Las Vegas, but her dad has a home in Simi Valley. You can see just how close the smoke and flames are to his home. Definitely a scary situation out there. And Todd and Trisha, our hearts are definitely with our friends over in California tonight. Absolutely. And a lot of folks affected. Thank you. Well,